May the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be always pleasing in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. Please be seated. I thought tonight I would tell you a story. I would introduce you to some friends of mine. This is Bob. This is Rachel. They both work in a stationary supply store. And I'm going to be honest, Bob's a workplace health and safety nightmare. At one time, Bob managed, they were doing some work with scissors, he managed to cut his own arm off. It's terrible. Fortunately, Rachel's very sensible. And since Bob's just made a paper, she just sticky taped them back together. There we go. Bob's mostly repaired. I'm sure Rachel did a better job in the original story. So anyway, um, one day, whilst Bob is unpacking some things, a crate of paper falls on his head. And like every 80s movie, he has amnesia. Now, amnesia is a problem because you can't fix amnesia with sticky tape. And memory is important because memory connects you to who you've always been. Rachel's smart, isn't she? So anyway, Rachel takes Bob and she takes them, they've been friends for ages, and she takes them to where they grew up. And she shows Bob the playground where the, he fell for the very first time. And she talks about how she repaired him. And then, and then she, Rachel takes him to the school where they went, where he used to trip and fall, and she had a glue on his arm. And so she continues to teach, to take Bob all over the town where they grew, grew up. Because she knows that memory, memory is how we reattach ourselves to our past. It's like a sticky tape for our lives. So the question is, how does Rachel know to do this? I mean, clearly she's very smart. But you see, Rachel's Jewish. And in the Jewish tradition, every year, they get together and they share a story. It's the story of how the Jewish people were, in, were slaves in Egypt. And then, by the grace of God, they became free. And they tell the story of the Passover, and they reconnect themselves to their history. Now, Rachel's Jewish, but Bob's a Christian. What does he do? Rachel's a good friend. See, she takes Bob to church. And even though she's Jewish, she stays awake through the whole thing, which I think is very courageous of her. And she puts up with some people who think that historically the Jews killed Jesus, which is not the case. I mean, worst case scenario, a couple of leaders in the Jewish sect were involved in a plot to kill them all. That's, that's, that's not to blame. Shouldn't blame them. Anyway, anyway. You see, and during the service, during the service, um, they share bread and wine, which is sort of similar to the Jewish Passover. <coughs> But the prayers and the story, instead of connecting Bob to the Jewish story of the Passover, connects Bob to the Christian story of Christ, who gave us a meal to share, to bind us together, that would help us remember every time we shared it, help connect us back, sticky tape for our minds and our lives, to the disciples that shared it with him then, remembering that this is the Jesus who just a few hours after that would give up his life, would die, would be buried, and would rise again. And so Rachel helps Bob remember, remember who he is. She connects him back to what it means to be a Christian. And to be a Christian means to follow Christ. And on that night, there were two great events of what the character of Jesus was like that we read about today. One was that bread and that wine. And the other is the act of incredible love to wash the feet of your friends. Because that's not something you would do lightly, is it? Can you imagine? I mean, if people walk everywhere, their feet are going to get grubby. 
to, act, to, to wash their feet can only be accounted in this instance as an act of great love and great service to the world. Now we're going to get to reenact both of those tonight. Tonight we'll be like both, hopefully without the injuries. And we will reconnect ourselves to all that means to be a follower of Christ through acts of love and service to share a meal with the one who did die and rose again for us. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Please join us for the prayers.